Hey friends, Quint Dad here. A lot of you don't know that Rochelle is actually a statistics professor at Austin Community College and online for BYU-Idaho. Now, this is a little bit funny, uh, a statistical anomaly also being a statistics professor, but it's kind of cool. Last year, we had some issues, though, with some of the students cheating a little bit and doing some other things that just kind of drove everybody nuts. So to, to help fix that, we decided to make a video. And hopefully, the students will do a little bit better after watching this video. Here's the video that we made. Hello, Hello stu students. I've been married to your professor for over 20 years. And in that time, I have seen a lot of students come and go. Some do well, and some completely bomb. The good news is that there are a few easy things you can do to be among the ones that do well. Here are five tips to help you do well in this class. Tip number one, don't cheat. If you are a habitual cheater, I recommend dropping this class right now. For the online class, there are ways to find out if you are cheating. Last year, I had to stand by as my mom called to confront a number of students. All of them were pretty sad when they were caught for a school tied to the church. There was a surprising amount. As a statistician, she had ways to find out who is cheating with a 98% probability. Believe me, you don't want that. And I don't want to sit by and listen while my mom has to call you and deliver the bad news. It is no fun. Despite this warning, some of you will cheat. I will say this in advance. I told you so. I may even laugh at you if she calls you this time because I warned you. Tip number two. Do the easy stuff. There are a lot of easy things that you are expected to do. Do them! Look for the stuff and make sure you do it. If you don't, you are an idiot, and I feel sorry for you. Also, I told you so. Tip number three, do the homework. This may sound obvious, but it is fairly common for people to not do the homework, and then start to panic at the end of the semester when they realize their grade isn't as high as they hoped. Many people will email my mom during the last few weeks of the semester asking if there's any sort of extra credit they can do to raise our grade. If she looks and finds that you haven't done the homework, then you may be out of luck. Sorry, but if this happens, I told you so. Tip number four. Have my mom review your project when she offers and get it in as fast as possible. Most people do a terrible job in the beginning when they are starting their projects. This is okay as long as you screw it up way in advance. What is not okay is when people wait until the last minute to screw it up. Those people end up sad. If you find yourself submitting something bad at the last minute, then I will say in advance, I told you so. Tip number five, look to find the cool things in what you are learning. Mom loves statistics. Admittedly, that is a bit weird, but for you, it is good. Sometimes this love is contagious. Absorb it if you can. It will make everything way more fun. My dad did when he took the class 20 something years ago. Yes, he did take this class and ended up loving it and the TA who is now my mom. A love and understanding of statistics makes you way more valuable in the workforce, so keep that in mind. Or you can decide you're not a math person and hate it. If you are one of these, good luck with that. I'm telling you all of this because I want your professor to be happy. If you do dumb things, then it makes her sad. And when she is sad, we are all sad. So please, follow these tips and make us all better. If not, then, well, don't say I didn't tell you. And just a warning, if you don't listen to this stuff, me and my family will laugh at you forever. Except if you're my mom. She will have compassion on your students because she wants them to succeed. Now.